For High Plus News, I'm John Abba. The NABJ, National Association of Black Journalists, would host a convention on Wednesday where former President Donald Trump will once again make offensive and insensitive remarks about Vice President Kamala Harris, even questioning her racial background. When Trump was asked if he thinks Harris has political power because of diversity, equity, and inclusion, he would go on to say, uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is now Harris would catch wind of Trump's comments and immediately responded with, it was the same old show, the divisiveness and disrespect. And let me just say the American people deserve better. Dio Hughley would also cover the events that happened at the convention and on his Instagram would share several posts of what took place. Hughley would share Harris's reaction to Trump with his own caption that read, unbothered and laser focused. Hughley would also write a post commenting on Trump's exit after being asked questions about Project 2025. Hughley would say, DJT said he'd answer all questions, but when a reporter asked about his involvement with Project 2025, he ran off stage. Now, journalist organization, the NABJ, would receive criticism and controversy for even inviting Trump to their platform and giving him an opportunity to speak. Editor of the news outlet, The 19th, spoke to media to explain why Trump was present at the event. She would go on to say, I can certainly understand why some of my fellow members would have an issue with somebody like him being at our convention, while at the same time understanding that this is a convention of journalists who should be able to interrogate him around his agenda, but also some of his previous statements, particularly as they relate to the black community. Ever since the convention, political commentators and politicians have reviewed Trump's statements, with many also calling his remarks a big mistake. Pundit Scott Jennings would address Trump's performance Wednesday night and say he, he did crap the bed. The only question is whether he's going to roll around in it or get up and change the sheets. Those present weren't the only ones who thought Trump's appearance was a mistake. That seemed to be a common thought on social media. One user on expert right, I wish to personally express my sincerest gratitude to whoever it is on the Trump campaign who convinced Trump it was a good idea to have him appear before the NABJ. Whoever you are, you are a true patriot and your country is in your debt. Now of course, some social media users would present the other side to the political landscape. Amber Rose, who recently spoke at the Republican National Convention, would post, President Trump is absolutely crushing this interview with NABJ. After writing that, many would accuse her of not watching the full interview. So what do you guys think about Donald Trump's performance at the NABJ convention? And do you agree that he should have never been invited in the first place? Save the day for the latest news in comedy, culture, and sports by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. And check out hypersclub.com for more original content and full interviews. Plus, if you enjoy this story, don't forget to send us a super thanks by hitting the button below and tip us what you want to show your support. For Hype Plus News, I'm John Opp. What's happening? What's up? It's your boy Deanne Turner, and I'm here to tell you about this mic right here. This is the hottest mic in the world. Why? Because it's in Atlanta, Georgia, baby. And no other comedy scene is better than Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I've been to New York. I've been to California. I've been to Texas. I've even done comedy in Dubai. But Atlanta's comedy scene is the purest form of entertainment that you'll ever get. Some of the best comics have stepped on this stage from OGs to up and coming. And they destroying the mic. I'm your host, each and every week, DeAnthony Turner. They worry about else. List, puffy list gonna be f***ed up. That got T.D. Jakes in the beginning. I can imagine who gonna come out in March. Cause Bishop T.D. Jakes can't even go to church no more. <laughs> Every time I see that, I think about some head. <laughs> I walked in on my so they said, what you want? I said to be swallowed up. Check it out for yourself. Either come to the city or catch us on TV, baby. Each and every week, Hype Mike, we are, we destroying the mic.